All right, so I wanted to show you another one of the vertebrates that we caught in our trawl today. Uh, this is called the summer flounder or the fluke. And uh, I want to show you a few cool adaptations that this animal has. Uh, you notice how it's laying flat down on the bottom. This is a kind of flatfish or flounder. Uh, it has this compressiform body shape where it's flattened out so it can lay flat on the substrate down at the bottom of the sound. Uh, and it can lie and wait for a prey item to swim in front of it. Uh, and these animals are actually quite powerful. Uh, they have a lot of powerful muscles in these tails, so they can actually get up off the bottom and uh, chase down a prey item like a squid or a small fish. Uh, when they swim, they kind of uh, swim in this wave-like motion instead of uh, side to side with their tail, uh, and they can actually create a lot of thrust with that. Uh, now, when they get up off the bottom, uh, they would be more visible. Uh, that's why they have an adaptation that a lot of marine animals have called counter shading. So if you notice on the top of this animal, it's very dark. Uh, so if it were laying on a dark, muddy substrate, it would be able to blend in there. So if you're swimming above it, it's nice and camouflaged while you're looking down. However, once it gets up off the bottom, if you're swimming underneath it, you're going to be able to see this bright white belly. Uh, now, that wouldn't blend in too well to like a dark, sandy bottom, uh, but if you're looking underneath it, looking up, it's blending in to the uh, bright white uh, where the sunlight is up at the surface. So it's camouflaged no matter where you are swimming in relation to it. Uh, another cool adaptation is that while it's laying flat here, it's actually uh, able to see very well because both eyes are on the same side of the body. Uh, we call this a left-eyed flounder because if I take it up, put its mouth on the bottom, uh, both eyes are on the left side of the body. There are also a few different species of flounder in Long Island Sound that have their eyes on the right side. Uh, and that's an adaptation that uh, is unique to different species of flounder. Uh, however, it wasn't always like that. When this animal was first born, when it was a juvenile, uh, it swims around like you would uh, expect a normal fish to swim around with one eye on either side of its body, like that. And then as it gets older, one eye will actually migrate over the top of its skull and uh, end up joining the other one on the left side where it will lay flat like that. Now these animals I mentioned are ambush predators. They like to eat squid and small fish. They have these nice sharp teeth that are good at biting and holding on to squishy things like those animals there. And they will actually be able to chase down uh, their prey at them as well. They're quite powerful swimmers at a short distance and they can get very big. They can uh, be a couple meters long almost. And